Look what I got. Look what you got. Yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> Anyways, got myself a Power Shot G7X, Canon G7X Mark II. I am super pumped uh, to use this. And uh, can't wait to show you guys the quality of it. But I'm not a super um, camera savvy type of person, but. Um, I've used the DL, the SLR before, and that was uh, a few years back. But let me quickly show you guys um, this camera before I shut it off. Yeah, look at that. Can't really take it out. Just give me one second here. Here we go, guys. My real estate, documenting, vlogging, my life of vlogging, it's gonna upgrade from here onwards. This is sweet. It's an investment, but yeah, it's costly, but it's a great investment, hopefully. Stay tuned, guys, stay tuned. There we go. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, recording with my new camera. Um, really pumped about this. But anyways, today's been, today it's gonna be a super busy day. Um, I'm already running a few minutes late, but uh, I'm heading out to Fraser Valley all day. Going to White Rock, Cloverdale, Fraser Heights um, uh, for a showing tour for, this, uh, for these lovely couple. But uh, it's, gonna be fun hopefully traffic won't be that bad and hopefully everything goes smoothly got my uh, rock star here that's uh, really really important but anyways um, gonna head out now before anything else goes what is up guys um, just finished my uh, tour of seven different places over Fraser Valley. It was uh, pretty good. Uh, what was the lighting here? It was pretty good. Um, it was pretty good. I had a lot of fun uh, showing these places with uh, this uh, young family. Young family, really fun. But. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's always kind of nice to go out to these places, but so, anyways, time to head out. Time to head out. Time to go back um, to Vancouver. I have one more last minute showing in East Vancouver today. Uh, hopefully that goes well too. Um, some some of you might be thinking like you know why go so far. Um, I've only, I've already made myself a decision that I only travel uh, to this uh, Fraser Valley area if it's by referrals. And you know, some of you guys might think it's just like, hey, that's not good use of your time. You know, you're locally in Vancouver and Richmond, the greater Vancouver area. When you're starting as a, a new agent, you gotta take on everything. You know, that's that's the truth. Um, you gotta you gotta work hard. You gotta take on everything, and. Um, you guys just do everything you can. You know, it's a, it's a business and you need to make money, right? So, but anyways, let's, let's see if we get on our road. You know, you got this whole typical realtor video, video session. I'm also trying to uh, see how I can hook up this camera in my car much easier. But, anyways. Yeah. So as I was saying, yeah, you gotta you gotta do everything. And the more again, the more paces that you look, the more knowledgeable you'll be at the end of the day, right? So, uh, anyways, I won't uh, record too much here. Um, just gonna head back, and I will do a little bit more vlogging later.
All right, guys. Last showing done uh, in East Vancouver. It's been a super busy day. Um, really, really fun though. Um, driving around and looking at uh, these every, uh, different places, but this last show we went to was pretty good. Hopefully, uh, we'll get something done pretty soon uh, with these clients. But anyways, previous clients, great. Um, showing at uh, Fraser Valley, as I said before, uh, so sweet of them to brought me a little gift for the little guy over here. You can't really see, I don't know what it is, but um, right over here, there you go. But anyways, about to head home. Um, Super hungry, did not eat the entire day. I uh, just had a big breakfast, but uh, hopefully I could get some good dinner <laughs> with my wife. But um, yeah, it's been been a good day so far. What's going on guys? Um, pretty tired. I know, balloons are still at the back. I really need to get rid of them. But um, long, as I previously said, long, long day of showings, uh, just had dinner about maybe an hour ago um kind of just chilled out a little bit and now i still have some work that i still need to do kind of plan for um not plan but it's already planned but i'm just i have to go through just some of the listings that uh for another tour tomorrow so tomorrow it's gonna be uh one in us and um a few in downtown i'm gonna go to burby and east van so a few places different clients um but it, it's it's been good. It's been this this weekend's been pretty busy. But but usually um, usually my week, weekends is either I'm doing an open house or um, if I don't, that's my opportunity to take my buyers out. You know, um, I'm a type of realtor that I, I do not like sending my clients on their own to look at places because uh, I like to see it myself too. I I have done. Um, blind bids before never got them but i don't like doing blind bids uh i uh, unless i know the building super well inside and out and uh, most likely i've probably sold there right but anyways uh if you are i think i mentioned this uh in my previous clip but if you are a new uh, realtor as i said before you know, you're going to so many different places. Uh, you have to, like, uh, you you can't have the leisure of picking and choosing uh, what type of business you wanna wanna do. I mean, you can't. If if you have the right network, you can pick and choose how you want to do your business. You know, it's completely up to you. But I'm talking for the people that are um, got in real estate and you are here to really hustle. You're here to really work hard, and you want to make money at the end of the day you you want to make money right and you want to build your business you sometimes you gotta you gotta do the things that are a bit of a hassle a bit of a bit, bit of a sacrifice that you have to make and especially with your time and i mean that when you take up like leads um especially as far away from your home or from your area you know you, you gotta you gotta expect that sometimes it might not work out you know and you might have um disloyal clients that uh, that might go somewhere else um, but that comes through experience over the time being that you learn how to qualify, qualify them fast uh, whether they're a good fit and for me how I gain a little bit more of experience now that I only take clients if it's out in like you know like the Fraser Valley area that the clients are referral base and I wouldn't take up a random lead right because I just I just have uh, other stuff that I have to do and I can't spend my, my, my time cannot be wasted because of other buyers or you know other uh, projects that needs to be that needs to be handled but I mean if you're starting brand new and you have that time you take up that randomly you have to you know you, you can't sit there and say hey you know um, Surrey's too far or New West is too far or you know Cloverdale is too far you, you, you gotta you gotta have a lot of enthusiasm and thinking like, yeah, you know what? Um, thinking about every lead that, uh, every lead is a good lead, right? As soon as you think that, you know, oh, I don't know, I don't know about this person. Um, you know what? You might as well not be in this business. Picking and choosing will not get you to the top, right? Uh, you can start picking and choosing once you have reached to a certain, not to the top, a certain level and experience that how you want to manage your business is completely up to you, right? So, uh, I mean, some people might agree with me, some people might not, but th 
that's fine. That's just my opinion. And uh, that's just from my experience only, right? But again, you know, I haven't vlogged in uh, such a long time. You know what, I have vlogged, I have recorded videos, but I just haven't time to put it together to edit. But anyways, if you guys haven't noticed, I got new glasses, I uh, broke my glasses three weeks ago moving for one of the uh, one of the listings I had yeah it was a long story but anyways uh, kind of hurt my side of my uh, my face a little bit but it happens that, that those were one of the, those off days uh, where you thought you, you wished everything would just go smoothly you know um, but um, yeah I think that's that's all what I would want to share today is uh, yeah don't 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 pick and choose that's the bottom line right don't don't pick and choose um, um, do what you can in the beginning and um, again it's not uh, it's not an easy easy career it's not an easy job right um, but anyways I'm super excited about my uh, about my camera here um, I can't wait to uh, use it more uh, and I got these uh, I got this little um, those handle sticks thing for the, for the camera. But anyways, my challenge is now is to upload this onto the computer and uh, I don't wanna see how, hopefully it's easy to do that. But anyways, I'm not really crazy tech savvy, but I'll be able to figure something out. Okay, anyways, catch you guys a bit. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. See you guys later.